Over the weekend, Pope Francis highlighted the dignity of work and protecting natural resources in Madagascar, a country where 90 percent of the population lives below the poverty line. Dancers in Madagascar mobbed Holy Father after performing on Saturday during an evening vigil with 100,000 young people. His rock star popularity showing in a country where some 35 percent of the population are Catholic. Pope Francis encouraged the country's president to protect the environment, quoting from his encyclical, The Tao Te Ching, published in 2015. On Sunday, the Holy Father visited the Akamasoa village, hosted by his former student, Father Pedro Opica, who founded the project. As he arrived, thousands of children sang their hearts out for him in the village auditorium. Speaking in French, he recalled Opika didn't care much for study. Rather, he wanted to work, and work he did. Father Opika, a native of Buenos Aires, was inspired to uplift the poor through work in a rock quarry and as carpenters. The Holy Father insisted poverty is not inevitable. He told the crowd their progress is proof God heard the cry of the poor. In canti de speranza, per voi e per tutti quelli che vi guardano. A well-known singer in Madagascar says he is grateful for the Pope's outreach. Yeah, I, I, I like the Pope. This one, this one is with the poor people I like. That's my, one of my fight in Madagascar, to fight poverty and to give hope to poor people. Pope Francis also paid a visit to a group of about 100 cloistered Carmelite nuns this weekend and celebrated an open-air mass before an estimated one million people in Madagascar's capital. Pope Francis will take part in a closing ceremony tomorrow in Madagascar before heading back to the Vatican.